Hello, I'm Eli Bremer, United States Olympian and three-time Pan American champion in the sport of pentathlon. I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about nutritional needs that athletes have when they're working out or competing. We'll talk about three different areas, what you can do before, during, and after a workout. By the way, a little piece of trivia here, what you do after the workout is actually usually much more important than what you do during and before your workout. So when I'm getting ready to work out, or quite frankly, any athlete, getting yourself ready to be physiologically, mentally, and emotionally prepared to work out is very important. So when I'm getting ready for a workout, my favorite product that I use is the Shackley Energy Chew. Two Shackley Energy Chews is roughly similar to taking in about a cup of coffee in terms of caffeine, but it's got a different type of caffeine. It's a natural, uh, it's like a, a tea extract caffeine, so it tends not to leave you quite so jittery. One serving, which is two chews, will also give you about 50 calories of carbohydrates, which can be used as energy. So three days a week now, I go to the pool and work out. I try to swim about three miles in each practice, and I actually take those two chews with me on the way to the pool uh, so that I start chewing them on the way to the pool, and I, that helps me be ready to work out when I get there. Um, just having that little bit of, of extra heightened awareness from the caffeine really seems to help. Helps your motivation quite a bit. Uh, as a side note, Shackley has worked with right around 150 Olympians now, and that product is our most popular uh, sports product that any of our athletes take. So a lot of our athletes are big fans of the Shackley Energy Chew. What I use during a workout, because my workouts are cardiovascular, I like swimming, I like running, sometimes I'll go biking, uh, but I use the Hydrate Plus product. Shackley makes two different hydration products. One's Hydrate Plus and the other's Hydrate. Hydrate Plus is a high carbohydrate version of a sports drink. So sports drinks typically have things like electrolytes in them, and that's, uh, you burn electrolytes while you're working out. If you are doing high-end cardio workouts, which is what I do, I would recommend the Hydrate Plus, uh, which is what I take every single day, because that'll start replenishing some of the carbohydrates that you utilize while you're working out. What a lot of people don't understand, especially today, uh, carbohydrates have gotten a really bad reputation, but not all carbohydrates are equal. So there are sports drinks, for instance, that use high fructose corn syrup in their product. That's a very high glycemic index product. It's gonna spike your blood sugar. You won't have access to your elevated sugar for very long, and you may get a very strong insulin response, which does not help you at all with what you're trying to do in, in working out. Shackley's Hydrate Plus uses more of a mid glycemic index level of, of sugar, and that gives you a sustained energy over the course of your practice or competition. So it's a bit slower release. You, you don't get as high of a high and therefore you don't fall off of it. So a lot of athletes, once they go to a product that is really a good slow release form of a sugar during a workout, they'll see an improvement in their practice. And even today, now that I'm not a competitive athlete, if I forget my, uh, my Hydrate Plus one day, man, I can really feel it because when your blood sugar goes down, you actually cannot reach the high physiological levels that you want to reach for a high intensity practice. It's not going to hurt you as much for a low end aerobic practice, but if you're doing interval training, anything where your heart rate's getting at 70, 75, 80% of your maximum heart rate, having a carbohydrate product that you take during the practice is very important. With that said, if you're doing a lower level workout, if you're doing an aerobic workout, something that your heart rate's getting elevated but not at that level, I would actually suggest the, the lower carbohydrate version of that product. That gives you all the electrolytes. You're not sacrificing your electrolytes, but, uh, but you get, um, you're not taking in excessive carbohydrates. So my new hobby since retiring from sports is golf. When I go out and play golf on a hot day, I'll actually take Hydrate and I'll mix that in my water bottle and that gives me the electrolytes I need without giving me excess carbohydrates that I'm not burning during a round of golf. Importantly and most importantly, athletes need to pay attention to what they're doing after the workout. In this situation, what I suggest is that you take very careful stock of what type of workout you're doing the intensity of the workout, the duration of the workout, and you need to you need to really understand that. There's the beauty of today is we have a lot of devices. You know, for instance, I have my Apple Watch, 
and that gives me a readout of the number of calories. Now, I'm actually less worried about the number of calories than I am with how fast you're burning calories. So the higher the intensity workout, the more you're burning your body's internal carbohydrate system, uh, which is called glycogen. You store glycogen in your muscles and in your liver. And when you burn your glycogen in a high intensity workout, after the workout, you need to recover very quickly. We're talking, I would suggest in 15 minutes or less, you need to start taking in carbohydrates commensurate with the intensity level. Additionally, if you're doing anything muscular, then you're tearing down your muscles and muscles need protein to rebuild. And so it's important to understand how much you've torn down your muscles. And if you're doing a workout that tears down the muscles, then you need to take more of a protein product. So it gets a little tricky here, but the way I decide what to take after a workout is really based on the workout. So for instance, if I do a very hard swim workout and we're doing a lot of pull, I know that's cardiovascularly intensive because my heart rate's very high and I can see on my watch that I've burned a lot of calories very quickly. And in addition, I know that muscularly, it's fairly intensive, maybe not as intensive as a weightlifting session, but you're using a lot of muscle. And so in that situation, I'll either take, um, I'll either take a Shackley Life Shake. Uh, that's a very easy product. In fact, a lot of athletes use that as a post-workout recovery product if you're doing both muscular and cardiovascular workout. Or uh, I might use Shackley's Build product and add in a little bit of Build Plus. So uh, Shackley's Build product is a, is a post-workout protein recovery uh, powder that can be mixed into a drink. And Build Plus is a, is a much higher carbohydrate version of a recovery product. So uh, Build Plus is about a three to one carbohydrate to protein ratio. When I use Build Plus is when I've done a very, very high intensity workout. For instance, if I go for a long bike ride and I've, I've got a very elevated heart rate for a long period of time, or I do a, a, a run, a, a difficult run, and sometimes even after a hard swim, if I feel like I really uh, was high intensity on the, on the cardiovascular scale, I'll use the Build Plus because that's gonna give me a sustained release sugar that goes into your blood that then replenishes the glycogen. And that's very important because that's what's gonna make you feel recovered and feel energy after your workout. Uh, and if you don't do that, then your body goes into um, a deficit and it's not productive. It's actually counterintuitive. A lot of people think, well, I want my body in a deficit. You may want a caloric deficit, but what you don't want is you don't want your body shopping around for what it needs to rebuild itself because it will indiscriminately go just start grabbing um, parts of your body and breaking it down. You don't, you're not just going to break down fat, you'll start breaking down muscle and that can actually reduce your metabolism. So if you're interested in weight loss and weight management, that can really hinder it. If you're interested in sport performance, breaking down uh, muscle tissue, you know, whether it's a skeletal muscle or your heart muscle is very, very uh, bad for high performance athletics. So after a workout, I suggest evaluate the, the quantity of food, maybe by how many calories you, you estimate that you, uh, that you expended, and then the type of food based on the type of the workout. So a higher intensity workout, you need more carbohydrates in the very, very near term afterwards. Uh, that's gonna be like the Shackley Build Plus product. Um, and if you're burning more, uh, if you're using more muscle, let's say it's a high intensity weight session, uh, something that requires a tremendous amount of muscle, rowing would be like this also where you're, you're using a fair amount of muscle. Um, then you need to add a lot of protein in as well so that your, your body is able to actually rebuild your muscles after a workout. So those are the main keys that I have. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll throw in one more, um, one more idea is that if you're not sleeping well, if you're not recovering overnight, then that can also cause problems. So uh, a lot of times if I'm doing a high intensity workout or if I'm at a time of the season where I'm really working volume, I'll take the Shackley Recovery PM. That's a tart cherry extract really helps with post-workout muscle soreness. Um, and it also tends to, a lot of people will say it helps their sleep. So that's not a bad product. If you're having trouble sleeping while you're working out, you know, if you've taken that caffeine product during the day, it sure won't hurt you to take the tart cherry extract recovery PM at night. And that'll really help you uh, feel better in the morning. And when you feel better, when your muscles are more recovered, when your energy supplies are back up, you know, the, the glycogen supplies, you're gonna feel more motivated, so you're gonna get back in the gym and do it again. And that's really the goal, is we wanna see consistency over time, we wanna see you tear down your body and build it back up using proper exercise 
and proper nutrition. So I'm Eli Bremer again, and uh, I'm really happy to help you with your sport performance. I hope this works out for you. Uh, if you got any questions, you can reach me at uh, Eli Bremer on Facebook and uh, reach out, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thanks.